Doc? Don't say a word. This hoverboard has been giving us some issues. It won't really like to turn one way. It's also been decelerating really funky. And so I'm just opening it up to see if there's anything that needs to be tightened, if something needs to be adjusted. Maybe a potentiometer is not doing its job. Just opening up, seeing if I can diagnose anything and hopefully make it better. Look at those electronics. Well, there's our, there's our, there's our problem. All those dust bunnies. Uh, what determines tilt? It's got a Jesus clip on it. A Jesus clip is a clip that goes around a cylinder that clips on. And the reason why they call them Jesus clips is because every single time you take one of them off or try to put one on, they always go flying somewhere else. And you just go, oh, Jesus. I, I like how this is a, like a normal airsoft battery, more or less. So Kevin, what's a better name for one of these than Hoverboard? <laughs> better segue? So you just kind of do like process of elimination, be like, well, these are the things that have to exist. Exactly. So what could this be? That side looks easy, but this side looks like a mess. Okay, so you have to assume then at that point that this is has to be a control board. Over here, since it's more circuitry, obviously not the battery, this it has to be responsible for controlling. I can take it a step further because I know a little bit more about electronics and these guys right here, this is what controls and regulates the voltage that is sent to the wheels. So this is a power setup that controls and regulates the power to the tires. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it looks like that this is the uh, part that comes down to let you know whether you're on the uh, hoverboard or not. So this is, a, I guess, a dual purpose. Like, that looks like an IMU right there. Inertial motion unit. It's what detects what angle things are at to a relative degree. It kind of measures gravity, acceleration, and it has like a gyroscope inside of it. This, that's an antenna. Why, why would there be an antenna inside of a hoverboard? Illuminati has a very real historical foundation. In 1776, in Bavaria, Germany, Adam Weishaupt, a German professor inspired by the ideals of French philosophy, namely secularism and rational thought, decided to form an organization to protect those beliefs. The order of the Illuminati was officially prescribed more than 200 years ago. But if we pay close attention to subsequent events, we shall find an alarming succession of coincidences. Look, it even says A-N-T, antenna. Where it's supposed to be is gonna get either thrown in the prop room on the floor where it goes if it's a prop or if it's a camera room put it on the table in the camera room or if it's wardrobe put it right here and Gabe's gonna take it all out. We're going into code red get the studio organized mode. It's happening right now. Spent all this time and money getting this place cleaned up and I come back into the prop room and this is what I see. fuck is this? Look at this. What the fuck is that? They have two hours to fix the studio. Perfect order, right, from right now. Two hours. Uh, we just moved the ping pong table back up and the dining room table back up. There's a lot of stuff gone. It's all clear now. We're just trying to take down everything off of these shelves and because there's plenty of space up here but there's just so much like random things like occupying the same space as other things that we wanted to take all those things off, isolate them, one good thing about cleaning is that you actually find some pretty cool stuff that was lost in piles. Found sweet pipe and Harry Potter's wand. Right now the plan is to figure out exactly which direction these things are off by the exact number. When we put it back together, offset it by that same amount by either shimming something under it or seeing if we can shim the board itself. I just took off these things and powered everything back on. And what I'm doing is I'm using my IMU inside my phone as a leveling system. Here I can get how level something is and it gives me a readout of how many degrees it goes. This case should be level. So if I set this on top of the case and I hold it level, that should mean your feet are level on the hoverboard. So if I take this and I hold it level, right there is level. But it's saying speed exceed. 
I have to hold it at about four degrees off. I think that has to do with uh, why you can't turn as fast one way or the other. So what's weird is I thought, oh, if you press down on one, it enables both of the wheels, but actually you have to sit down on both and only get both wheels. So let's go and do a quick test on this wheel. Now if they're both off by four degrees, that'd be fine, but this one's only off by like 1.5. That means you could actually spin really fast on one of these. So hopefully this means all I have to do is go into here and when I put this back on, try to figure out a way to readjust it so that this is offset by the same amount of degrees that the IMU is off with level. Ideally, we'd be able to do this in software. I don't see a USB port on here to connect to to reprogram it. So we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. My hope is that the studio is nice and clean and things are back where they're supposed to go. Now, that sounds easy, but trust me, it's not. Gotta get the old boots on. This morning I asked Gabe and Derek to clean up the studio. I gave them a few hours. Let's see where they're at. Oh, that looks pretty good. It didn't look like that before. Pretty good overall. Shelves look generally in order. Just That looks pretty good. All the tools are back in order. That's always good to see. Gun wall, it's about 95. It needs a little restacking, but other than that, and back here, for the real deal. So basically the system that we're trying to have here is every shelf has a label. For right now, I mean, we can change these, but it's gonna be P1, P2, P3, P4. It stands for props, you know, prop one, prop two, prop. And everyone will have, you know, a certain amount of uh, bins on them that are tailored to a specific type of prop that you might need. So P1 is all head stuff, stuff that we, we can actually put on actors. We have headphones, we have sunglasses and glasses, and we have wigs. And then from P2, it'll be probably like stuff you can hold or wear that isn't necessarily on your face. So we're just trying to figure out how to de-randomize everything. So we're gonna have a sheet that we're gonna hopefully post right here onto the door. That'll have just a list that says, all right, in P1, you can find these items right here. And in P2, you can find these items. So that way when somebody comes in here and they're like, oh no, I don't even know what to look for. You look at the itinerary, it's mm -hmm. right there. Boom, bam. Bada bing. Bada boom. Boom, boom, boom. Big bada boom in the cab here, look. So did they complete the task of organizing the whole studio in two hours? The whole studio? I don't know. I don't think or so. I, you I, I don't think I that's a real. I, I don't. I, I don't think so. They've embarked on that. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I can recall, Jake said, "Just this area first. <laughs> when we were out in the. Well, we might have to look back at the footage on that one. <laughs> After this, it's just a whole lot of painting. I'm. I'm happy though. I'm happy. A lot of progress. We kind of hit a stalemate. So that that antenna that we saw down here. It goes to a remote control for the hoverboard. That remote control is the only way to reset the IMUs. I tried stuffing the stuff in underneath the IMUs to like make them level, but the issue with that is it's too much. I can't actually put everything back on because we're having to tilt the IMUs way more than they're supposed to. It worked, but I can't put the case back on. We're just gonna have to put it back together as is and see if we can get a new remote or something. All the other hoverboards, every last one of them, except for the stupid IOHawk, lets you reset it with the button. Uh, the on off button but this is the only one that requires you to have a remote they never gave us the remote so we can't reset it i did switch the imus so hopefully they drift the opposite way and if they do then maybe it'll level out eventually 